Okay, without further ado, let's just get on with it. Let's get on with it. These are insanely difficult to drive. We are in Fred's latest Porsche Taycan R Turbo S whatever. Uh, Porsche and the silly. Oh yeah, it's a turbo. It's electric. There's no turbo involved. Unless you've stuck one in the air conditioning. Ouch, what are you doing? Right, so there's two versions. The track car. We can't go three abreast around there. So there's a track car and a road car. These are the track cars. They're 888 brake horsepower and a guadzillion foot pound of torque which just kicks in instantly now the chassis is really well balanced but has a fundamental flaw the whole car has a fundamental flaw and it's not that it's not got a petrol engine in it it's simply it's a juxtapositional thing you've got too much power and too much weight and you've just got human, humanly developed tyres. You need godlike tyres to control this amount of power. And I've got the track control turned off, but you've got all sorts of systems trying to keep you alive, basically, because Porsche wants to sell you a second car and a third one. It's no good if you've wrapped this thing around a tree. So they've put lots of things in to try and mitigate your uh, early demise of a car that accelerates like one of Elon Musk's rockets, but at the same time has to brake equally as quick despite weighing the same as an oil tanker. I mean, it's doing a good job of it, but you do have to change your driving style um, if you're into your electric stuff I would seriously suggest uh, Fred's Formula E pack um, something a little less crazy to this again Fred's BMW 3 Series E This is just crazy, just, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's good to drive when it's right, but whoa, as you can see, it'll catch you out really quick as we hit the boost button, try and keep it on the inside because we are now, again, physics, tyres, brake too late break as hard as you can made it Oof. Yeah, so as you can see with the AI the cars do move around a lot as it's trying to react to what those big motors are doing I'm trying to drive a bucking Bronco Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There is a challenge here. And it is a... Uh, it's a good challenge. But when it goes wrong... It really goes wrong. I would say I'll keep quiet for a lap. And you can listen to it, but... Hey. No, nobody wants to listen to that. petrol headist or I'm an electrical motorist I don't know I'm one of them God of Bennett that is just ridiculous on that corner oh no out, out limits out limits we know we know I mean the race is close uh the experience is uh, frightening 
and it's given me a lot to kind of compute and react to. It's not for everybody though, it's electric, okay? I can, uh, I can thoroughly respect that because at times I am having doubts uh, when I, uh, when, when my skill level of how to drive for something like this leaves me, which in the six laps we've got, there we go, massive understeer, yeah, hit a bump and game over. Let me just get out of the way of these lot. So how many talks do we have? That many, that many. We can uh, cook the tyres that quickly. <laughs> on the back of the field now let's just carry on whoa 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 trying to stop it smoke off the car in front on the boost button can't get on the inside as you can see we've both got this little slip angle going on on the brakes let him go first I mean, you can see how Porsche has just absolutely fought tooth and nail to get this car tame. But it is just pushing the boundaries of physics, it really is. And it just, you know, one bump, a couple of mil, too much on that throttle. And uh, yeah. Even Porsche's engineering team cannot save you. Back on the power. Back on the brakes. There's a little lump as you come in there. If you go a bit wide and it flirts you off. Again, there, you can see how it's just it's fighting it's understeer coming back in and understeering and i'm not on the throttle at all it's, if i to, to touch the throttle we're just in the wall understeer city um you'll see the uh, the ai kicking the back out and getting that slip angle going just to help matters that's the way to do it on the higher speed turns on the smaller stuff even there, could you see where I actually engaged a Scandi snip slick? Scandi slip? Scandinavian flick, a Scandi flick, and the car stops it. <laughs> the, uh, the electronics kick in and go, oh no, you don't. You'll, 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 you'll not live very long doing that. It'll let you go so far and then it pulls it back in, um, which is just. Again, there's on the steer. It's just, yeah, the computer's fighting physics with you. Ah, come on. Um, I am a big fan of the Formula E stuff. Uh, this, I'm gonna say it, and this is personal opinion, the car is feels amazing it's got great feedback looks amazing does exactly what it says on the tin yeah but i don't think i like the physical car in the rugged warrior world and that is um where my problem lies um why i'm not a big fan of this mod it's not the mod it's the car itself it is just it's at the point where you've gone too far <laughs> you need to develop new types of tires possibly with suction pads on to make this thing viable it's too fast and it's there's too much mass being moved around too quickly yeah be that accelerating braking turning it's all too much for four bits of rubber on a bit of tarmac yeah magnets magnets that's it metal roads magnets in the tires that's what you need or a huge amount of aero that works at slow speed fans we need huge fans under these 
Yeah, huge fans <laughs> suck them to the road. Uh, but then the wheels will probably uh, just melt and explode. Okay, thanks for watching. Another great mod if you're into uh, your electric stuff or just insanely quick vehicles. This is for you. Adios.